Hello everybody, welcome back. We're in that two, and we're gonna see what's at the end of it. Let's get started. I don't know. There have been geth everywhere. Oh. And welcome back to my left. Whoa. Come on. I won't die. Jesus. Didn't know there's gonna be fighting right away. Well, welcome back to my Let's Play of Mass Effect 1. We are on episode 11 or 12? Oh my goodness. We're on episode 11. We're on episode 12. We're on episode 13. I don't know, dude. Facing me. Three hours later. Come on. Wow. See, had my butt to the door. I didn't know what was going on. Holy cow. Um, what even what weapon are you using, bro? Apparently I did that from cover. Jeez. I wonder what they are. Most protein problems have nothing more than dead instrumentation. And Garris, you? Okay, he has a sniper. She's working on her pistol. Look, guys, your favorite. Another elevator. Dun, 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 dun. See, aren't elevators great? I actually didn't hate him as much as most of the community. Okay. Actually, wrong way. Here go. Whip out the pistol, I'm thinking. Oh, Liara. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped, I need help. Liara to Sony, I presume. Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? I'd rather talk about it first. How did you get trapped? How did you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Man, how long have you been in here? Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benizia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. And now she sounds like a friend. Ah, can't reach her. Well, we just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. You brought this on yourself. Nah, we're gonna help you out. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. 
They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Well, the Krogan aren't the most intelligent, usually. Okay, so she's stuck in a bubble and there's a forest field. I'm gonna get past the Prothean barrier. And my guess is there'd be like a back way through or something. Oh! Those are some big weapons. Let's get down there. Alright, team. Okay. Tally, you die a lot, so... Hide up there. Garrus... Vicarian. There you go, Vicarian. That's what I like to see! Here with me, Garrus. Warp. You're gonna sabotage, and you're gonna overload. I'm just gonna fuck him up. Damage shields. Okay, overload shields only. Sabotage. Overheats the weapons. That is nice. So they stop shooting. Like, oh, okay. Stay behind that rock. We might have to sacrifice scares. Go! He shot. Go, go, go. Okay, like... Attack him, team. Ooh. I don't think I saw any Krogan, but it's good for now. I'm just gonna get rid of these. Don't need them blowing up in my face later. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh, oh, big hole, big hole! That's the way the cookie crumbles. Alright. Well, there are different levels, maybe there's another way in. Mining laser controls? Uh, do not know what that is. Maybe there's controls I can find, just dig my way in or something. Well, in case this blows up in my face, I'm just going to try it. Well, I'm gonna upgrade the squad before I save. Tactical armor. That's what I want. I want the medium armor. We don't have any yet, but that's what I want to build towards. Always want your snipers to be on par. And tally. You kind of suck right now in combat, but we're planning to radioactive rounds. Shield regenerator, okay, and hard weave, yeah, we're gonna take a look at some of that for sure. Hard and weave three, it's both biotic and tech attacks. I feel like getting my shields back, even though they're not very big shields right now. It's kind of the most important thing. Hardening would be solid. Um, shield regenerator. Yeah, I'll give you a shield regenerator too. You've got the most shields anyways. That might make her more useful in combat. Yeah, we know, we know, we know. All right, and we're gonna save because uh, 
Oh, okay, this is just a memory game. That's cool. It's not all left, is it? Okay. Left, down. Left, left. So it's left, left, up. Left, left, up. Left, left, up. Left, left, up. Down, down. Left, left, up. Down, right. Left, left, up. Down, left. Boom. Oh, yeah. Told you there's other levels. Just to find our way in. It's nice that there's a laser just pointed right there. Oh boy, another elevator. Ah, but it went just to the right place. How do I oh, get you free? How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. Superior firepower. The mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. She knows the button to shut it down, but she doesn't know what she pressed to get in it. Suspicious. Oh, well, she's right. looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. Hmm. The conduit, but I don't know. What the hell is that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. Uh, then we need to get on out of here. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. He needs to move faster. Well, we only... Well, <laughs> He's like a secret, stealth, fast spaceship. He's moving as fast as he can, lady. Don't be hating on my man Joker, Tally. I don't know if I'm going to take you out on any more missions, but... Take that tone with me. Oh, there's the Krogan. Oh, I should have had Rex here. That would have been an interesting interaction. Is there a kiss my ass? We don't have time to deal with this idiot. Charge! Ha! <laughs> I like your attitude. Okay. Oh boy, fellas. Okay, looks like Liara's gonna help. Um, yeah, get rid of that guy's shields. Stop. The shock trooper. Make him overheat. Did I not force him down? Come on, game. I missed because he's moving too fast. Whatever. Let me get out my shotgun. He's over there. Right, you guys focus that guy. Where's the crow? Oh, apparently I missed at point blank. Holy cow! Way, Tally. Thank you, Garrus. Jesus. Who's still left alive? Oh, he's alive! Suck on that, buddy. Well, the kinetic barrier's down. Or whatever. 
darkness area or whatever. Oh dang. We gotta get out of here. Don't turn back. Run! Hey, Joker made it in time. What a man. You made it. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. <laughs> Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? Uh, he's funny, Liara. It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. 50, huh? How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. <laughs> a century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got some info on that. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. Hmm. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. How do you know? Where do you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. Hmm. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I can well, how do you know you're right? Theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. Oh. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. Shut up, and I'll tell you. I already know what happened. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? I saw it. There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. 
but the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Hey, don't be course, bitching. You're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. I think she'll still be useful. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Welcome aboard. Good to have you on the team, Lyra. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time happens to all the women who talk to me? Dr. Chalkwash should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We'll talk later. We can talk again after you've seen the doc. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yes. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the... I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. I know what I'm doing, dickwine. Don't tell me how to do my job. You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. I'm not apologizing. Yeah, trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? It was, douche. The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Salarians are nicer than you, Turian bastard. Ooh, piece of candy. I love that you have the option to disconnect on the council. It's, it is hilarious. Probably not my style of shepherd, but all right. Let's go talk to everybody. I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I, uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. Fun fun. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this, baby. No medal's worth that. <laughs> so, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? Um... Ship status. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. It takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? I can see where this is going. I think, back. yeah, we've... You want top of my class in flight school? I earned that. All those comments... I'm sorry. Oh, we've There's already talked to him. Hands, and I'll make her dance I, have I just want to know if you have anything else to say, Joker. That is all. All right. Then we go downstairs. Press light. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. You doubt my decisions? I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. That's right. How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school, following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. 
We were one of the first reinforcements to arrive at Elysium after the Blitz hit. <laughs> and those raiders were no match for an Alliance frigate. Of course, the only reason the colony was still standing was because of you, Commander. I can't believe you held out as long as you did. How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. The captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Carry on. It's kind of cool that we sort of yes, sir. work together in the same mission inadvertently. get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? Speak your mind. Malenko, when it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. That's a generous attitude. Okay. I think there's something wrong with all this. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get back up from the Council. Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informed. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. <laughs> what did they train you for? Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. For the kids they hauled in was brain camp. All day is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero. It beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Jesus. I heard all about that. How companies would arrange accidents to expose people to element zero. There was never any proof of that. It's not what happened in my case. My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and the next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jesus. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades, right on the termination chart, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FDL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. Hmm. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. Hmm. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform. Canadians kept Jump Zero off the extra net to prevent leaks. Oh. You were all teenagers. I'm sure you found other ways to occupy the time. <laughs> eh? I'm not the sort who does that kind of thing, Commander. Not lightly, anyway. There was a girl I spent a lot of time with. We kept our clothes on. Around. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich. But she was smart. Charming as hell. Beautiful. But not stuck up about it. I think you'd have liked her. Ah, uh, somebody's. Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But things never fell together. Training, you know. Damn, that sucks. You know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. It doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different than limited potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Dang. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better than this. But that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. Alenko, there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your commander. I appreciate that, Commander. I just don't want you to think that I'm a, a 
whiner. Besides, like a certain Carthonesi. All right. Well, we'll probably end up stopping here. Um, it's not the best stopping point because we just started talking to everybody, but um, we're sort of at that 30 minute mark and that's where I'm going to keep in my videos. So thank you all for watching and come back next time. We'll talk to the rest of the crew.